Hello coders, in this video we're going to get our camera collision system working properly. Um, in the last couple tutorials, if you haven't seen those, go check those out, but in the last couple tutorials we talked about conceptually how we're going to pull this off, and then we went ahead and scripted our collision handler class, which we are going to be talking about how to utilize in the rest of our camera, uh, camera controller script in this video. So again, in this video we're going to complete the camera controller uh, system included with collision and occlusion handling. Let's go ahead and jump into it to see what we need to do to pull this off. Now I added a few settings. I'll go ahead and highlight them so you guys can see which ones I added. Again, this is the camera controller CS file. I added these two lines right here for smooth follow. So I added the option for the camera to follow the target smoothly. And then what I did was I added this public float adjustment distance. Now remember, whenever we collide with something, we want to change the distance that the camera is away from the player. So we're going to remove control from this distance from target and add control to these, this adjust, uh, adjustment distance. Alright, so we'll move on down here. I created this debug settings class. I'm going to be drawing the lines from our target position to each one of our clip points um, to both of our both our desired collision lines and our adjusted collision lines will be drawn. You guys will see uh, what I'm talking about there by the end of this tutorial. And then I add the references to our debug settings in our collision handler. I call them debug and collision. And then I add two more lines here. Vector3 adjusted destination, which is going to be uh, taking control from destination. So if we're colliding, we're going to be using the adjusted destination. If we're not colliding, we're just going to be using our default destination. And then this Vector3 camvel, this is our camera's velocity uh, if we are using our smoothing option. So we need to go ahead, go ahead and add that. Okay, now the last time you guys saw this script, you might not have seen me calling move to, move to target in the start function. You might have seen me using these three lines of code instead. So you can go ahead and replace that with move to target since we're going to be modifying this method and we don't want to have to modify all those lines of code into places. Alright, so after we call that, what we want to do is some initialization for our collision handler. So we're going to say collision, say collision dot initialize. We're going to pass our camera to that method, so we're going to initialize camera.main, and then we want to fill our clip point arrays. Remember, we have two arrays we need to fill, so we're going to say collision.update camera clip points. We're going to be modifying our um, we're going to be modifying our adjusted camera clip points first. So we're going to be adding those in, and remember, our adjusted camera clip points are going to be in reference to our camera's current position. So camera position is going to be cam uh, transform.position at rotation is going to be the camera's rotation so we can just say transform dot rotation and we are passing we are modifying the value of our adjusted camera clip points array so we can say collision dot adjusted camera clip points okay so we've done that I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this line of code we're gonna be modifying we're gonna be adding and initializing our collision dot desired camera clip points this time the only difference between the adjusted and the desired is where the target position is, where the camera position is, sorry. Uh, and the camera position in this case is going to be equal to our destination. Okay, so wherever our camera is supposed to be is going to be where these clip points are um, initialized as. Okay? So we have our initial initialization set up. We're going to jump down to our fixed update function. See, so we have fixed update right here. And what we want to do is actually copy and paste those two lines of code. So remember, every frame or every uh, maybe a couple times every frame, we want to update this these clip points, okay? Because as the camera moves, our clip points move with it, so we need to calculate those new points. So we're going to call that right there. And now what I want to do is add some code to draw the lines from our target to each one of our clip points. So what we're going to say is... We're going to draw the debug lines here. Okay, so what, how, the, the way we do this is we loop through five times because we have five clip points for each array. So we can say int i equals zero, i is less than five, i plus plus. And then what we do is we check to see if our debug settings have the Boolean set to true. So if debug.draw desired collision lines is equal to true, then we're going to draw those lines. If debug.draw adjusted collision lines is true then we're going to draw those lines so the way we do this is we say 
for our desired or yeah for our desired collision lines we can say debug dot draw line target pause and that's going to be our start so where the line starts our end point uh, for this line is going to be our desired our collision dot desired camera clip points at i and then we can choose a color for these lines so I'm going to call the desired ones white so color dot white and then I'm going to do the same thing for our adjusted collision lines debug dot draw line target pause but we're going to be drawing lines from our target pause to our adjusted camera clip points at I and I want to color these green so you'll you'll be able to see these white and green lines which are going to be determining the pyramid shape collision box for our desired and adjusted positions okay so once we've done that we're ready to go down to our move to target method and modify how our transform how our camera moves um, around in the scene based on collisions so if what we do is we say if collision dot colliding so if colliding is true you know what I actually forgot uh, two lines of code up and fixed update we'll go ahead and talk about that right now so again a move to target we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be checking if we're colliding keep that in mind let's come back up to fixed update I forgot a couple lines of code that we really need and that's going to be our check colliding method so we need to say collision dot check colliding and this is using raycasts so using raycasts here alright so that's the reason that it's in fixed update and I need to pass target pause to this I believe so we're passing target pause to check colliding and this is going to be what modifies our colliding boolean which is why we needed to add that before we talked about uh, what we're talking about down here there's one more line of code that we need to add below this it's going to be position dot adjustment distance is going to be equal to collision dot get adjust adjusted distance with ray from okay so we're getting this from our target pause so what this line of code does is it updates our adjustment distance whenever we collide we're going to start using adjustment distance otherwise we're just going to be continually uh, setting this value until we need it alright so I'm not going to talk about you know how this method works I talked about that in the previous tutorial so if you want to know about that go ahead and check out the last tutorial but all you need to know is we're setting our new adjustment distance in case we collide so if we collide we're going to be using that distance here now what I'm going to do is, if we're colliding, we want to do similar to what we do when we calculate our destination, only here we're calculating our adjusted destination. So remember that was a vector 3 we created at the beginning of this tutorial. And instead of negative forward, so everything's going to be the same. Okay, So to get our adjusted destination, everything is the same, but we need to change negative vector, vector 3 dot forward to positive vector 3 dot forward. And instead of position dot distance from target, this is going to be position dot adjusted distance and remember adjustment distance is being calculated up here um, and we're not using it until we are colliding alright so once we have our adjustment distance once we have our adjusted destination sorry we have our adjusted destination so what we can do now is check to see if we have a smooth follow okay and actually we do want to add just an uh, just a destination to our target pause so we'll go ahead and do that just like we do it for our destination okay and then what we do is we say if position dot smooth follow then we're going to use a smooth damp function here use smooth damp function else we are just going to say transform dot position is going to be equal to adjusted destination all right and I'm going to go ahead and copy this and put it down here so if we if we aren't colliding we're going to be doing the similar thing only we're going to be if we're if we're not set to smooth follow we're going to say transform dot position equal to destination all right now our smooth damp function how do we declare this we're going to say transform dot position is equal to vector three dot smooth damp our current position is going to be transform dot position our target is going to be adjusted destination ref camvel so remember we created that cam velocity uh, vector 3 up top we're going to be using it here for this method specifically and then smooth time is going to be position dot smooth so that was another variable that we created at the beginning of this tutorial that's going to be how we smooth towards our target position 
We're going to be doing something similar down here if we aren't colliding. The only difference is, again, we're moving not towards our adjusted destination, but to our uh, actual destination. All right, that's going to wrap up the script. What we did in, uh, let's go ahead and summarize what we did. So we added a few more settings up here. Okay, we added some smooth follow settings, adjustment distance, we added that. We added a new class that we're going to be using to determine how we draw our lines. Uh, we added the references to those classes. We added the adjustment destination uh, vector 3, which is going to be replacing our destination if we're colliding. And then the vector 3 camvel. And then we initialized our collision handler class, uh, gave the camera a reference for that class, and then we updated the clip points. And then in our fixed update, we went ahead and we continued to update those clip points at runtime. We draw our debug lines. We check to see if we're colliding. We adjust the adjustment distance if we ever start colliding so that we know, the, remember the adjustment distance is used to determine how far away from the camera we need to move or from the target that we need to move our camera. All right, so instead of using, uh, instead of using distance, we're just gonna use our adjustment distance. And then down here in our move to target, we modified a few things. Uh, we're going to be moving our camera differently based on whether or not we are colliding. And so we do that in that chunk of code right there. All right, so if we did everything right, we should be able to go to Unity and test it out. Now, I will warn you, if you press play without doing anything now, then you won't see any collisions happening. It'll be like nothing is going on. You need to come down to your camera controller and the inspector and make sure you set your collision layer. So I'm going to set my collision layer to structures, okay? Because I've defined in my scene the collision layer uh, as structures. You might want to just say everything. So actually, I'll go ahead and just say everything with you. So we'll set the collision layer to everything, which means that the camera is going to collide with everything in our scene. All right, so let's go ahead and run it and hope that we got everything right on the first try. All right, so I'll zoom in here, and you can actually see I'll zoom in here. You can actually see the collision lines being drawn. And if I select these debug uh, booleans here, so I'm, I'm going to say I don't want to draw my adjusted collision lines. So you'll see that these are white. If I don't draw my desired collision lines, I see nothing. If I draw my adjusted collision lines, you'll see that those are green. Okay, so I'm going to draw both for now so you guys can see exactly what's going on. I'll zoom out a little bit. Okay, so we're zoomed out. Now watch as I rotate. It looks like our collisions are actually working um, as we want them to, actually. So, nice. We got it on the first try. That's always nice to, to see happen. Um, okay, so I'm rotating around. I'm colliding with things. This is, ex this is exactly what we wanted. Uh, but notice the collision lines over here. Okay, so you can see the green. Now, whenever we collide, you can see these collision lines separate. All right? So what you're seeing here is actually you're seeing the white lines, which is our desired position, and the green lines, which is our adjusted position. So the green lines are where the camera's at. The white lines are where the camera needs to be. Okay. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up this tutorial. Uh, we talked about a lot in this series, but we did end up with a nice controller, nice collisions happening, um, fluid movements. So everything is working as expected. If you guys have any questions on this tutorial, go ahead and feel free to email us or drop comments in the comment section below. I might be extending this series to add a few more, um, a few more classes, maybe a, a few more functionality aspects for the controller, but that has been yet to be decided. But you know, if you like this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you're liking these series, if you're liking the videos on our channel, go ahead and subscribe to us. Show us some, uh, show them, show us some support. I can't speak every time I, I swear every time I try to say that, I can't get it out right. But yeah, if you guys like the videos, go ahead and subscribe to us. That is going to wrap things up, though. Um, as always, this has been a Renaissance Coders tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.